What's up guys, got a vlog for you today in 4K. Be sure to click that gear icon, set it to 4K, see if your internet or computer can handle it. I've heard stories of people's computers just flat out blue screening from the 4K, so anyway, I got a new camera for my job for the car overview channel. Check that out if you haven't seen it, annotation, bang, subscribe. And for pictures, it shoots 20 megapixel pictures, so you know, it's another part of my job. So anyway, today what I wanted to talk about was wow. I had a lot of people ask me what I thought about WoW losing 3 million subscribers in 3 months. 3 million in 3 months. That is pretty fucking huge. So, a lot of you guys know that I uh, tried out WoW and I actually thought it wasn't that bad. I thought it was much better than Pandaria and I thought it was much better than Cataclysm. I liked the leveling up, I thought the, that part of the game was very cool, I thought the, uh, I liked the Warlords of Draenor concept. I can see why some people might not like it just because it's a continuation of MOP in a way, but not really, because I fucking really, I really hated MOP. But, <clears throat> uh, anyway, so, why I think this is interesting is because I don't think War uh, Warlords was horrible. I, I really, I think MOP is the worst thing that ever happened in the game, but I want to talk about why we're seeing this 3 million subscriber drop. Now, flat out, the game is 10 years old. People are getting tired of the game, myself included. I've said this in the past, after when Warlords came out and I was starting to get bored of Warlords, even though I kind of knew it wasn't that bad, I, I've, I just said it, like, even if they made the game as good as it was in the past, I don't think I'd play it, just because I think I'm, I think I'm just done with it. I really think I need something new. So, the fact that the game is 10 years old is absolutely a thing. And there's a fucking boat, man. I, I can't catch a break. It was, it's fucking trains, trains at my old apartment in Radford, the ice cream truck in, truck in Chattanooga, and then there's fucking boats. I cannot catch a break. So, anyway, um, that, me saying that flat out, that if the game was the, the perfect way that I would want it, I still wouldn't play it, that's kind of a big deal. But I want to talk about why, before then, I sort of fell out of love with it. And I made this giant list. Now, this list, I made this list for this video before, actually, with this with this being in 4K, I bet you can read this clear as fucking day. Oh, this 4K camera, you're gonna see all my imperfections. But anyway, actually, the quality probably won't be that good because the lighting in here is kind of bad. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I made this list, and I made this list before the honor bit honor buddy bands. So some of this, uh, my opinion on that is it's too little, too late. We'll get on that later. So anyway, um, <laughs> look at this. Okay, so. I, I just noticed this. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but if you look at the second, uh, WoW loses 3 million subscribers and then BG's literally ruined, that was a big deal, especially for me, cause considering, yes, I was an arena guy, yes, I, I mean, I, I liked PvP as a whole, but in Cataclysm, was Cataclysm was when it really got bad, the Honor Buddy shit got really bad. I know it, it came out at the end of Wrath, I think, came out in like 2010, but Cataclysm like mid to late Cataclysm was where BGs just got fucking ruined. Just completely ruined. I used to be one of those guys where, yeah, I focused on arena, I was proud of my arena achievements, but you can go back and look at my some of my older videos, especially on like Machinima Realm and stuff, and see that I I was like a BG guy too. I made BG guide videos like Feral Battleground Tips and Tricks, like where I'd go around and kill like 50 fucking people or 80 fucking people in Eye of the Storm or whatever. Um, I liked that because I was facing real people. As soon as the bots got crazy, nobody liked BG videos anymore because a lot of the people were bots and BGs just weren't fun. I, I've gotten, I think I have like 180,000 honorable kills on my druid and I think probably 160,000 160, of those were pre-cataclysm. Uh, pre so I used to love BGs. I used to, I, I had all the achievements, I had just the car, had basically everything because BGs were something fun to do when you were doing arena or raiding or doing anything. Just fun to pass time and whatever. And those that, that's a big part of the game. That really is a big part of the game for both PvPers and PvEers. Because even PvEers like to go around and screw around at BGs with their new raid gear or whatever. And just, it's a big part of the game that literally got obliterated. That I get no joy out of Battlegrounds anymore because of the bots. You know, you go, oh man, look, I just totally own that guy. Oh, turns out I probably wasn't a real player because it's fucking shitloads of bots everywhere. So it just... It really diminishes that. It just ruined it. That's all I can say about that. They did ban. Apparently, the honor buddy bans are huge. They banned like 
estimates are like 300,000, like 100,000 confirmed, but it could be even more than that. Raiding guilds got killed by this because people were using Honor Buddy to raid. I don't know anything about that, but apparently you could set up Honor Buddy to like do your rotation and shit, so people got banned for, for that, and that's a big deal. So I applaud them for banning people, but holy fucking shit, guys. Really? Like, you're three years late. Come on. So, uh, that's a funny story, by the way. So, Blizzard, they lost the court case against Honor Buddy. And then they decided, oh, maybe we should just ban the people. Really? Come, I mean, I'm sure they have their reasons, but why not just take care of the bots on the side that you control? Like, you control the game and who gets banned and who doesn't. Why not just ban the fucking people rather than trying to go through the legal system and shut the bots down. Just fucking... God, Blizzard, fuck, guys. Really? Three three plus years? It's probably, it's probably like four years. Five years. I know, I think Honor Buddy came out in like 2010, but it didn't really get bad until Cataclysm. But still, guys, come on. So that's the first bullet point. Uh, no new capital cities in a long time. Long time. I don't count Shrine. That shit was dumb. That shit was super hella gay. Shrine to that, along with most of Mop, everything about that was just stupid. So, in Cataclysm, we went back to the old cities. That was kind of okay because they revamped the old cities. It was still, you know, no real cool new city. Uh, in Wrath of the Lich King, we had Dalaran, which was kind of cool. Uh, Dalaran, I wasn't a huge fan, but it was clever. You had the sewers and the, the clever workarounds and the dock and the sewers and the bottom. It was cool. I thought it was a cool city. It was neutral, so they kind of half-assed it. But, you know, it was New City and Wrath flying in the air. It's different. So, then Mop... Wait, no. Then Mop comes out, and you have the fucking shrines. That just sucked. And then Wad comes out, and there's like, there's no way it could get worse than the shrines. It got worse than the shrines, with the most half-assed shit I have ever seen. The, the Wad capital cities look like fucking like South Shore back in like 2005 like they really just guys fuck no no new capital that's a big part of the game because people spend a shitload of time in these cities and the wide capital cities is like gray dirt roads and like various houses house models they just took from other parts of they're not even unique models they're just like fucking random shit there's like oh, i'll put this here this here this here it's just not cool and i know they they like wanted to make these big cities but they just couldn't do it or whatever but i feel like that's something you could patch in like maybe ashran is like the temporary thing and then as time goes on there's some sort of story element and then like you move to the new city it's like they could do something cool with that even though they ran out of time so whatever um <laughs> next bullet point Mop fucking sucked ass and killed the coolness of the game. <laughs> no pandas in Wad. Okay, that's that's me literally reading off the list. So, have you noticed? Have you noticed that there's not that many... I don't think there's... I don't recall any panda NPCs in Wad. Like, fucking none. At all. Like, even the quest giver NPCs where you see, like, um... Worgen and, like, that Worgen bitch where you threw shit in the pot. You saw... All of the races represented at some point in Wad. Yes, they really focus on the orcs because the orcs are the thing, whatever. Yes, there's more orcs, but no fucking pandas. Like, everybody's represented except the pandas because they know the pandas fucking crushed the game. The pandas crushed the game. Mop, when you think about the downfall, when we look back at this 10 years later and think about the downfall of WoW, the, I think the number one key point is going to be the fucking panda expansion because you're gonna look at this whole timeline and be like classic wow illidan lich king deathwing pandas orcs or fucking gara not gara what the fuck? grom you know it's just like what the fuck guys it, it, it's just bad they're, they, they're trying to really get away from that maybe some wow god is going to be like you're totally wrong. There's a shitload of pandas over in this place that I didn't see, but I'm not seeing it. So the pandas, that crushed the, that crushed the coolness of the Warcraft franchise. And a lot of people just said, fuck it. They're like, a lot of people, at, 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 heck, Mufasa Prime, I remember him telling me, he, he got into BlizzCon for free that year because some guy said, 
fucking fuck pandas and gave him his ticket. Like he got in for free because some guy said fuck this and just like walked away from the Warcraft franchise. So anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, these bullet points. By the way, are in no particular order. They don't. They're not in chronological order either. Uh, okay. Anyway. Uh, I like Watt's story. Yeah, I already hit on that. Okay, garrisons were a bad idea. Like, anyone... Uh, I, I said this a long time ago when they were talking about having uh, housing that had, like, a purpose. I was like, you gotta be careful with that. Especially when it, when I first saw it, when I first came back to Wad to try it out, and I saw that you could make money from garrisons and, like, actually progress. I was like, oh, that's a really bad idea because it's gonna make people become a slave to these garrisons and become a slave to their alts and I gotta make some alts so I can get some free money for my garrisons I gotta go to my garrison every 30 minutes to send my new people out and do all this shit the housing has to be effectively pointless I think Wildstar's housing is very good it's not completely pointless you can put up portals and you can do like little mining stuff but it's very minor I think Wildstar really did the housing great kill a boss put its head in your house that is fucking cool you go kill Avatus and you go throw his head on your house. That is awesome. You can and, and all of this is effectively pointless, but it's still fun for the player because they get to have fun customizing their house and their achievements in the game can be shown off in their house, which they can show off to other people. It's very cool. Garrisons, fucking lame. They ha they have like really no customize customize custom what whatever you know what the fuck I mean. You can't customize the damn things. Um, this you can, but it's like. No, not really, because everybody does the same. Everybody pretty much finds out the best stuff to put down and just does that because your garrison is your, like, little money maker, and you have to have ten little money makers per server, and people have gotten to the point where they bot their garrisons. They they go, they go have they set up a bot, and it goes and logs on other characters and does the stuff, and that's what happens when you create currency and items out of nowhere effectively automated through a system. It's just... It's, the housing has to be effectively pointless. That's my point there. Um, Ashran. Holy... <laughs> God, I actually wrote that. Ashran. Holy fucking shit, guys. I, I think I've said holy fucking shit, guys, like 50 times in this video, but... Guys, Ashran, come on. Come on. You can't be serious with Ashran. Oh, my God. Did they even, like... I know it's hard to play test it because you can't. They don't have like a hundred people to hundred for a hundred versus hundred and just sit down and play it. But guys, what happened to Winter Grasp? That was the bomb. Wrath. Anybody didn't play Wrath of Lich King Winter Grasp? I feel bad for you. I played Horde. My side lost sixty. I was on the losing end. We lost because we had less people. We normally lost more than we won. I'd say we won about forty percent. I loved Winter Grasp even though we lost because. There was a, uh, a system, a rallying system, where basically if there was less Horde than Alliance, then the Horde players could be stronger. And I had a fucking blast. Uh, just killing people in Wintergrass and getting in the tanks and boom, boom, and like pushing people out of the way and shooting people and defending the walls and getting in the cannons and... Wintergrass was awesome. I don't know anybody that didn't like Wintergrass. Then Cataclysm came out and they had Tol Tolbarad, which was just fucking... Not as bad as Ashran, but pretty fucking bad. Where you had to capture three bases simultaneously, and if you were facing, like, any group of non-fucking idiots, that was basically impossible. Um, so, Tolbarad was definitely a downgrade from Wintergrasp. And then, Ashran, guys. Wow. Um, okay, so my first... Im my, this is my first impression of Ashran as Alliance. Oh, you just sit on the road the entire time, and we killed the boss. Okay, what's all this side space for? I don't know, who the fuck cares? Go down the middle road, kill the boss. Fuck it. Leave Ashran. And then they made it... Then they ended up patching it to where you couldn't go down the middle road and kill the boss. Then it was, go down the middle road, wait 20 minutes, then kill the boss. And they had all these side objectives and, and things that I don't understand. I, I realize I never spent the time to learn what they do, but... The what? Like, I, I don't know what the side objectives are. I think a lot of people don't know how Ashran actually works beyond go down the middle road and kill the boss. I see all this stuff where it's like, this event has started! This event has started! I, I never saw anybody doing that shit. Everybody was just going down the, going down the road and killing the boss. So, oh my god. Ashran is 
awful. Jesus. Um, LFR, uh, I said LFR was fixed, but it's still pretty dumb IMO. Uh, they did make it to where LFR doesn't get the same, like, looking gear as Raiders. Like, I thought that was good. I, I'm actually not that unhappy with LFR and WAD. It's still stupid, though. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, oh, this is one. This is one ever since, really, uh, End of Wrath. Okay, this is a big one. Progress should be through raids, not modes. I am for hard modes for fights, but not hard modes for entire raids. What does that mean? Well, in Ulduar, for example, uh, X89, when you DPS the big red button, you do the fight differently, and it's harder, and you get something different for doing it. That's cool. But just going out of the instance and, and clicking the, the right-clicking and setting it to hard mode, that's, that's lame. And I think... I think having those separate modes is kind of lazy. I understand that, oh, you know, we don't have to make as much content. I just, I really liked how in Wildstar, and especially, I think BC had it just right. Towards the uh, three-fourths to the end of BC, there was this giant raiding tree where you had the Kara guilds, then you had the, um, the Karazhan guilds, then you had the, uh, whatever that place was with the Nagas. You had that. Then you moved up to the next thing, and the next thing, the Black Temple Guilds, and at the very top you had the Sun Will Guilds. You had all, you had these tiers where your guild would start off in Karazhan, then go to SSC, Serpent Shrine Cavern? Is that the dungeon? I don't know. You, you'd go and you'd progress through the raids, not through the modes. It wasn't like, hey guys, we just killed this guy. Everybody exit the instance and I'll right click it and put it on hard mode. I just think it's way cooler to go from a raid to another raid to another raid to another raid. And Wildstar, I thought it was very cool how you went from the uh, veterans to, or you went from, actually you went from the adventures to the veterans to the uh, 10, no, 20 man. Sorry, dude, is, was there a 10 man? Yeah, no, no, 20, that's stupid. You went from the, you went from the, for some reason I think there's a 10 man. There was not, there was no 10 man. Or maybe there fucking was. Shit, was there a 10 man? No, there wasn't a 10 man. It was just 20, right? 20 and 40. Anyway, you went from the five man adventures, five man dungeons, 20 mans to 40 mans. I just thought that was very cool how you progressed through the through the content, not through the modes. And yeah, there was you know what I mean. Um, anyway, so blah blah blah. I think I'm done with that. Uh, Blizzard store. I dude, I remember making a video about the Blizzard store. I think it's still up. If somebody can find it where I was just talking mad shit about the Blizzard store. And I was fucking right. Fucking right. Back in five years ago or whatever. It's, it just is dumb. Ugh. It's gross. I don't like that kind of stuff in my MMOs. I can understand if it's free to play, but... Ooh, you buy the new shiny fucking spectral awesomeness and... You can't get it anywhere else in the game. It's... I just never have liked that stuff. And, the, the, and I told people, I fucking told people in the video five years five years ago that it's not gonna end with that i was like oh it's just pets it's just pets guys they're never gonna sell mounts they're never gonna sell levels what the fuck just what yes it fucking happened and it's ugh, it's just fucking gross it trip I, I know that leveling up in wow was not ever something that, uh, ever, ever since, like, I'm gonna say Wrath, I think BC, the leveling up process, was still kind of a process and still, like, definitely an integral part of the game. In Wrath, they kind of were just like, mm, you know, everybody kind of gets to level 80. Um, so anyway, uh, I noticed that wasn't that big of a deal, but it's still, like, a part of the game, and they, I don't know, just kind of trivialized it, and I think that's just part of the game getting old, so maybe I shouldn't complain about that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, what else? Uh, the skill of top in arena players has gotten to a ridiculous level. Uh, okay, so this is not really something I can, this is not Blizzard's fault. I just think this is part of the reason why PvP isn't as fun. Just because the, the game has been out so long that people have gotten so good at it. Like, people have gotten so fucking good at WoW arenas. It's un real how good people are i remember uh for another person that'll back me up on this sacred heel so me and him and 
Thrux, who adopted, adjusted to the game and is still very good. Um, good God, dude. Fucking, jeez. So, the reason why I, w I was a... I was the number three highest rated Feral Druid in Wrath. And I was not number... Th I was not the third highest rated because I was, like, unbelievably good. I just learned the game and I, I just knew... I, I, I guess I was before my time. That's kind of the, the, the way that I put it. I was not some super skilled, awesome, mega aware god of arenas. I just figured out how to play the game before everybody else. Then when everybody else figured out how to play the game, holy fucking shit, did I just get whoo, NASCAR'd by at a thousand miles an hour. So, uh, things like fake casting, that was like kind of the thing that only the top players, the, the highest, the high end players would do. Now, like, literally people in the 1600s are probably fake casting now. People have just gotten so good that, you know, back in BC, I was a feral druid and I, uh, I did pretty well. I wasn't like amazing. I didn't really get good at the game until Wrath, but I did pretty well. There's, there's really no such thing as doing well if your spec isn't good right now. If your spec is garbage, like, for example, when Windwalkers were garbage, like, 90% of the time, they're probably amazing right now for what I don't fucking know. But when Windwalkers were garbage, aka, like, always, from what I can remember, they're just garbage. There's no Windwalkers on the ladder. There's just, it's impossible to play a Windwalker at a competitive level if they're shit. Whereas back in BC and back in Wrath, uh, Feral Druids weren't ever the top, top class. You didn't see Feral Druids in tournaments. I still don't, maybe there have been some Feral Druids in tournaments? Actually, there probably have been, but until, like, the player ran, have you seen a Feral Druid at BlizzCon? I don't know. There weren't any. They were never the top, top dog in terms of representation and just overall viability. But you could still do it because the players weren't super gods like they are now. People have gotten so good that the, the slight imbalances of the game cause everybody to fucking re-roll and that kind of is a problem with Honor Buddy, because everybody just flavor the month rerolls like fucking crazy. But, um, you know, this isn't the final blizzard. People just got super good at the game. Like, even the lower end arena players are, are good. I, and last, when I played WAD, I, uh, I was, what, 20, I got to 2300 on my Feral, I don't, I don't even know if that's good. I got, like, fairly up there. So it was like 2300 on my Feral Druid. I got to 24. 300 on my warrior and I got up to like 2150 on my misweaver which I was God, fuck I was healing in that game healing is hard fuck that's the hardest thing to do in the game hands down healing arenas is brutal every loss is your fault in one way or another just because there's so many decisions you make and so many so many potential mistakes that you can make as a healer it's crazy I holy shit healing is hard in arenas um but anyway so I think that's part of the, the fun diminishing, it's just people have gotten so good that all of the imperfections of the game really show now when you have uh, just people playing the game at a much higher level. And that kind of started with the streaming. When streaming got super popular in, uh, I guess, cat Cataclysm, it kind of got, it was definitely was getting popular in Cataclysm, but MOP, where like, Wreckful, Sidu and crew, and all the fucking rank ones and every god ever was streaming and everybody was just seeing like 12 hours per day of wreckful kicking ass then everybody got good and then those guys got better so um you know that's just the natural evolution of the game so anyway enough on that um no epic gear slash players that have reached some unobtainable amount of epicness so this kind of died off with i'm gonna say bc because in BC, towards the end of BC, I think this unobtainable uh, level of epicness absolutely still existed in BC. And maybe, I think it really started dying off in Wrath. Um, so, anyway, back in Classic WoW, I was 12 years old. I was a fucking little idiot. And I remember seeing this gnome warrior in full dreadnought gear. And just going, holy shit, my little 12 year old ass running around Ironforge. Just some noob idiot. And I was just blown away by how much of a badass this guy was. He had the full tier 3 Nax set. I, I guess I was probably 14. Whatever, I was, I was a kid. Um, he had the Nax set, and he was just a badass. And, you look, and I looked up to that guy, and I was like, Fuck, man, I, I wish I could be as cool and as good as that guy is. Because there was just that epic gear, the epic mounts, just the, the stuff that was super hard 
to get that not that many people had. And he would, you know, he'd AFK and Iron Forge. He'd have, like, a little fucking posse around him. It's just that cool, like, epicness of just, like, the, the items and just... It's just not there. It absolutely just is not there. It still existed in BC because you had War Glaives, you had the Black Temple, Sunwell gear, the stuff that just, you know, you really couldn't get. And I feel like that, I don't know, it just doesn't really exist. I think some of that's with uh, with Transmog. It's kind of done away with the gear. that They've gotten kind of shitty with their models. Goddamn, Blizzard, you guys have fuck, fucking sucked recently with some of these models. I understand that Transmog makes it hard to make standout models because everybody's got their stuff they like and whatever, but... Jeez, man. It's kind of a little bad. Um, apparently, the guy that designed the BC models, like, quit or got fired or something. Everybody knows those those Burning Crusade armor models were amazing. Like, the tier th or Season 3 Druid set and the Season, uh, like, all the, the B uh, Black Temple. And those are, like, super popular transmog pieces even today. Because the guy, the guy that made them, he's fucking gone. Ugh! Ah, oh, that Paladin set. It was so... Ugh. So anyway, um, there's not that epicness anymore, and I, that I don't know what that's what the pro, why that is. I, I don't know why that is really. Um, I mean, there there there's still mythic raids where only a small percentage of people do it, but there's just not. I think I think it might a lot of it might just be transmog because you just don't see some guy in gear that you don't that you don't see that often. There's not. For example, like with uh, Tier 3, with the Dreadnought gear, that that was something you just didn't see. And I guess with Transmog, maybe it hides it, or, um, I don't know. I, I'm sure other people know what I'm talking about, what I'm trying to say here, but I don't know why it went away. I, I can't explain why, other than maybe the gear kind of just looks the same with uh, normal to out normal. When you progress from normal mode or flex to normal to hard, maybe the gear kind of looks the same. But there's definitely, you know, when you go around whatever the fuck, War Spear and... I can't even remember the... the wad shit-ass capital cities. When you go around, you don't see some guy that's just like, WHAT?! THAT GUY?! WHAT?! It's just not there. So, anyway, um... Transmog, I already hit on that. Cataclysm Dungeons. So, the dungeons just suck. They fucking blow dick. Uh... I like the Cataclysm Dungeons a lot. I like the Wrath Dungeons... A lot. I think in terms of like difficulty and like coolness, I really liked though. I think Cataclysm was nice because with Cataclysm you could pug a dungeon, but you really, it really, you really wanted to make friends with that good tank. You really wanted to make friends with that good healer, the good DPS. I remember when Cataclysm came out, we ended up pugging some people, and I made a lot of friends in Cataclysm because hey, this guy's a good tank. We definitely want to bring this guy. No one really pugged it. Like you want, there were pugs, but the pugs were almost like recruitment sessions for people because the dungeons were just right you had to have some cc you couldn't be a complete fucking idiot they weren't hard they weren't i'm not gonna say they're hard and like the top players were like fuck we can't do this like sort of like what happened with i think wildstar had the hardest dungeons of any mmo like of actually like getting gold on a lot of those dungeons when the, when the game first came out and people didn't know all the little tricks and exploits and I don't want to say exploits, I'm going to say tricks, because, like, skipping trash and, like, I don't know, I don't really find that stuff exploity. <laughs> but, um, those were hard. Man, Wildstar Dungeons were fucking brutal at the start when people were still learning them, and, in fact, that's why a lot of people quit that game, is because they couldn't raid and they couldn't get the attunements. People don't want to admit that, but they got their egos hurt a little bit. But, with Cataclysm, I think, in terms of, like, difficulty in the dungeons, they ended up getting nerfed, but... You know, what can you do? Um, I think that was perfect. Because you... It was just difficult enough to where you wanted... You could do it. You absolutely could pug it. But it forced you to make friends. And that's kind of what the whole MMO experience is about. Whereas the newer the newer stuff... Um, I think Wrath had cool dungeons as well. I, I really liked how in Wrath, when ICC came out or was coming out, they added three new dungeons in a patch. That's fucking baller. I don't think that ever happens ever again. When the fuck have they, when's the last time they've added dungeons in a patch? I can't, I, maybe it's happened, I just don't know. Um, running old dungeons. Okay, so this is cool. I don't keep up with WoW that much, but I heard there was a system of some kind where you get rallied down or the dungeons get pumped up. And basically it's incentivizing people to run the old dungeons, but at a harder level. I think that's actually pretty cool. And since we were talking about dungeons, 
I think that's actually kind of neat. I don't know what the rewards are or, or, or how it really works, but I just think that's kind of a cool concept because there is some nostalgia there, and I don't know. I just think it's kind of neat. Um, ooh, here's a big one. Titan development. That hurt them a lot. So if you're not familiar with what happened, at the end of Wrath, Blizzard took a lot of their top WoW developers and put them on Project Titan. And long story short, Project Titan is fucking done. They said, this is a pile of dog shit, and they fucking canned it. They're not rebooting it. They're not going, hey, we're going to get this out later. We're delaying it. Nope. Fucking done. So them taking all those developers off WoW for, like, whatever, all of Cataclysm and all of MOP. If you know, if you remember that news story that came out that said, we have more people working on WoW than ever, that's because they fucking canned the Titan game. So all the top people are back on WoW again. So... Uh, everybody's like, oh, yeah, WoW's definitely going to get better. So the next expansion for WoW probably might be pretty good, just because the old developers are going to have time to work on it. And I, maybe they probably lost their... Let's be honest, it, it's probably not going to be that great, just because they've been out of touch and they've probably lost it and the game's kind of dwindled a lot since they left in the end of Wrath. Um, but, the, you know, the whole thing with... There's more people working on WoW than ever. It's because a lot of those people came back. So, yeah, you... you you know, they lost a lot of their top talent to a game that never came to fruition. So that's absolutely a thing that, you know, it's it's there. Uh, what else? Uh, I already hit on this later. I don't think I'd come back to the game even if the game is good. The game has lost its magic, in my opinion. Yeah, that's that's the, the real kicker, the kick in the nuts for WoW for me personally, is that even if the, if the next expansion came out and it was the fucking shit, the PvP was awesome... They did all the stuff that I said in this video that should happen again. You progress through raids, not raid modes. and They did everything that I wanted. I probably still wouldn't play it. Or maybe if I did play it, I probably wouldn't enjoy it. Just because it, it's 10 years. I've been doing it, you know, played the game a long fucking time. So, looking for something new. And this is, a, this is also something. Wow, dying off is not bad for the MMO. The MMO genre right now... It's I'm not gonna it's I'm not gonna say it's dying like because I don't think it's gonna completely die, but it's absolutely dwindling for now. Gaming goes in cycles. For example, back in what 2008 through 2012, nah, maybe not that long, but there was a maybe it was like 2005 when Halo and COD were fucking huge. There was one point where FPS, Halo, COD, Battlefield. They were just the shit. There was, FPS was just the, the, the top of the of the meter. And MOBAs didn't even really exist. Like, they existed, but didn't fucking exist, really. Uh, and then, uh, there was also a point where, like, it was, like, FPS and MMOs were, like, right here. And, wow, was it, like, 12 point whatever, 5 million subs. And there was also these other MMOs that are doing pretty well. Now, MMOs and FPS games have just been... And now you've got these games, like, Minecraft and these, like indie kind of like creative s games are up there where they weren't anywhere back then and then league this whole moba genre just like shot out of the earth and is huge so it goes in cycles you know there used to be uh, back when i was a kid um you know all it's all about the adventure games the the banjo kazooies the uh whatever spyros like those were the fucking huge games and now the adventure games they definitely still exist like they definitely, they definitely exist, but, you know, it's, you know, there's, there's cycles, that's what I'm trying to say. So, MMOs, that's not the time for MMOs, but, where I'm getting at, I'm rambling like crazy. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that WoW dying is not a bad thing for MMOs. I think it's actually a good thing in the long run, even though, you know, 3 million people quitting an MMO to likely go play League or whatever game is bad for MMOs right now. But I think in the long run, I think the WoW dying is good because it's going to free up some some potential MMO players to go play something new, play something different. People have been so hooked on WoW. And I wouldn't even say hooked. I wouldn't even say hooked after fucking MOP. But people have been so, like, attached to their achievements and experience in previous WoW expansions that they just don't want to quit because they've got so much time invested. When they finally do quit and the game finally does, you know, dwindle, they're going to be more open to play something else, and it's also going to make it's also going to make lead to developers taking more risks and getting away from the WoW style MMO because the WoW style MMO is just dying. You know, I I really don't think we're going to see a huge traditional MMO with 
questing PvE content, then raiding, then this, then that, and all the features you'd expect from a WoW-esque MMO, like a, you know, like a SWOTOR, a World of Warcraft, a Rift, those kind of style of games. I really think the future is in things like Crowfall. That's the game I'm really looking forward to. That's a game that's being very smart about what they develop. They're not spending a fucking metric dickload of money making all this PvE content. They're trying to do something a little different. It's a big risk. It might not work. It absolutely might not work because that's a game that involves players playing. Like So much of that game's success is on the players. And they're going to really have to hit home. Guys, don't be a solo player in Crowfall. That's... Like, fuck, they need to have videos, like, out right now going, Guys, you're gonna need to find a guild. You're gonna need to find pe people that you like to play with. Because that's a game that will not fucking work for a solo player. If you run in solo in that game, you're just... You're gonna get fucking obliterated. Like, it's probably... War oh, so anyway. I think that, uh... Man, I really don't... Like, this is the whole reason I went part-time on YouTube, by the way. Is that my genre of games, like MMOs, like that's my fucking genre. Yes, I love FPS games, I like other video games, whatever. But there's really n nothing better for me than getting into an MMO and just no lifing like crazy. And I won't be doing that, I don't think, ever again. Like I did with Wildstar, just because I've got a job and I'm a working man now and, you know, whatever. But I would still, even when I was in school... Um, I still like to know life and fucking, you know, get on and play all weekend, whatever. You can still have free time. Uh, I still like to go in and definitely get my slash played up quite a bit. But, you know, nothing on the horizon. EQ next, that fucking thing might be done. Like, that game might be fucking... Uh, it might have just gotten tightened. The, with the whole SOE, or Sony sold their games division, and that game might just die or that or maybe they and apparently the develop the development for that game might have just been like a sham to try and get somebody else to buy the studio that was making eq next so that game's future is up in the air and i didn't think that game had that great of a future anyway because there was no real concrete anything that we knew about it other than some stupid fucking minecraft thing um but other than that man there's really Fuck, the MMO genre is looking pretty bland. Except for Crowfall, I think that's cool. But I don't think that's going to be some huge... Like, even if that game is successful, it's not going to be huge. Like, there's... I I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I think that's going to be more of a niche game. I think it'll definitely still make money if it does well. Um, but I don't see any 12 million subscriber games coming out anytime soon. So yeah so that's what's up uh man this has been a rambling video what are we up to in terms of we this is like 20 minutes i got a new camera i can't tell Ooh, uploading this 4k video is gonna be a bitch it's gonna be very large so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you next time this is a rambling video i know a lot of people like these but i wanted to make a video talking about wow what i thought about the three million people leaving in three months then you had the honor buddy band so it's probably more than that um so yeah, I'm, I gotta quit. I gotta stop talking or this video is gonna be super long. It's probably, I wonder if this video is 20 minutes yet. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys some other time.